Kim has ordered his military to prepare for the occupation of South Korea and is, according to some, engaged in frantic military development. And after South Korea and the United States began the Freedom Shield 24 exercises designed to deter a North Korean invasion, it only caused Kim to issue more threats of war. The task of North Korean experts has always been to try to separate bluster from real threats. And in the past, it's usually been bluster. Bong Young-shik at the Institute for North Korean Studies in Seoul says it's bluster, meant to undermine the current South Korean government from winning parliamentary elections in April. A disturbing report earlier this year by the respected 38 North website, however, indicates this time Kim may be serious. 38 North reports Kim Jong-un has made a strategic decision to go to war because the communist government sees a window of opportunity to forcibly reunify the Korean peninsula. If the report is true, Asian expert Gordon Chang believes it would be part of a wider Asian war. North Korea wouldn't go to war unless it got the approval of both Moscow and Beijing. So probably um, if North Korea were to attack South Korea, it would be in conjunction with China attacking Japan, Taiwan, Philippines, India. Concerns about North Korea's nuclear program have grown in the past two years, as the North has test-launched missiles at a record pace and openly threatened to launch a nuclear attack on the United States. Chang does not necessarily agree that North Korea is preparing for war, but says if it is, the blame falls on the White House for appearing weak. An important part of this article that I believe is absolutely true, and that is uh, the authors maintain that Kim Jong-un believes that the United States is in global retreat and that essentially he can pretty much do what he wants. That is a very dangerous mentality. And this is a thinking that also affects Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping. The United States needs to reestablish deterrence because at this moment, uh, the bad actors think that they have a green light. Kim Jong-un did something very strange a few weeks ago. While touring North Korea's impoverished countryside, he said publicly he's ashamed and sorry for neglecting the economy. It was very uncharacteristic of a leader with a reputation for being ruthless. It could mean Kim finally has a heart, or it could mean he knows a stronger economy will be needed if he's going to fight a war. Dale Hurd, CBN News.